Hello gaming fans, it's Brian here and today I bring you a first impressions video of a new game to come out called Hero Unit 911 Dispatch Simulator. Now I'm sure at some point in life you would have called the emergency services and asked to have maybe the fire, ambulance or the police uh, dispatch you for some emergency reason. Now this game represents that phone call but you are that operator on the other end of the phone so yep you are listening to the phone call and deciding what best merchant services should be dispatched to this uh, person they speak to on the other end of the phone. And now this game has no uh, flashing graphics, no flashing sounds, it's all text driven. But when you see this game running and you when you play it yourself you can't help but feel connected to the fictitious characters that you are listening to on the other end, other end of the phone. It is that kind of addiction to it that draws you into the game. That's that's actually not bad for what is just a 99 cent game. It really does work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for a couple of uh, short calls and just to show you how the game works. Okay, So here we go, we've got ourselves set up. My name is of course Officer Brian and I have my first incoming call which is of course the uh, green flashing light there so I'll press answer and away we go. Okay as you see we have a call that's uh, come through and we're connected so once again we're asking this is 911 and what is your emergency? Okay. Okay, and we have our first caller, and she's saying who they are. So, what is your emergency then? Oh dear, now she's done something bad. Now, we have three options here. We can say, are you alone? What did you do? Or how, how old are you? So, I'm going to say, um, what did you do? So apparently she lied yesterday and thinks Santa Claus is not going to come. So this is obviously a child that's on the phone. And she's asking us, do you know Santa Claus will come to my house? Um, okay, now we've got two options. We can say this is not an emergency, which it isn't. Uh, or I'll check what's your what's your address. Now as is a child, I'm going to go with, I'm going to check what your address is. Let's see what happens, okay. So this must be set around Christmas time for this particular phone call. And he now this the three questions are is he coming? What do your parents say calls or I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask him what exactly did the parents say to this child for her to be ringing nine eleven with merchant services? Now they saying they don't know because uh, I just waited to see if Sandy Claus left me out of the route because of my lie or not. So she's lied about something. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, yeah, he will be there. Cause let's just try and reassure this child, okay? Now see, he will be there, and really, she's asking, do you promise? Uh, I say, I'm sure he won't miss your house. Yeah, I say that. I'm sure he won't miss your house. Now, apparently, uh, what about Malai? She said, um, I ate to my screen, but I, but I did. I was caught, so something must be mad at me. Uh, are you, let's say, are you sorry? Then Santa will understand. Yes, yeah, give him that. And you see, there we go. So, yeah, you think so? Yeah, I do, so. <laughs> now, 
record and then the call has disconnected so there you go and that is the finished of our first call and here we see we've actually got um, the girl in question it's a low call it's low, feels low minch low but we can actually read the news and here is what happened at the end of that phone call what played out and uh, if you look at the bottom it says this kind of call are scarce and even for the aunt of Munchy, you must take a few seconds to give the call the best attention and guidance possible said the kind dispatcher in fact these calls are welcome breath for fresh air and an otherwise stressful job so this one obviously turned out just the right just right for the uh, liquor girl on christmas eve and if you are somebody who does follow the um norad website and you will see well norad website they take hundreds of calls every year from liquor children asking where santa claus is as he makes his chip around the world so it's something which obviously uh, brings a breath of fresh air to everybody and makes everybody smile but there you go that is a successful um, answer to the 9-11 call okay so let's do one more here we go we've got another phone call so let's start okay so once again watch your merge Okay, hello, you ear. Now, I don't know what this means. Uh, I'm sorry, come again. Now, it's obviously this. <laughs> yeah, let's see. And once again, um, do you need a Spanish dispatch? I think it may be, because I'm not sure. Let's try this one. I called disconnected. Oh, so that's very finished. And this was that answer to that phone call. Let's have a look. And this was a tourist and spends the night in the museum. And now, once again, there's actually, you see here, at the bottom, try to get help from 9 11 emergency services. The phone line went dead. That the operator was incredibly rude, I would say, even racist. He lost his patience and commanded me to speak English, even through I was trying my all means to communicate in his language. Not not cool, 911 operator, not cool at all. So that one didn't go down too well. And as you see at the bottom, there's actually five possible outcomes to this phone call as well. So that's one of the phone calls where I'm afraid it didn't go too well. Okay. So that is how that one turned out. But once again, folks, that is. 9-11, sorry, Hero Unit 9-11 Dispatch Simulator. See, it's a text-driven game, and it does really suck you in to the game, and it makes you care about the people on the other end of the phone. Now, there are, there are many possible, there are many stories to this. I'm not going to show you all of them, because it's for the game, and a lot of them do have more than one outcome. Uh, this developer has promised they will be adding more um, stories, or so more calls, um, to this game over time. Now the game is available to download on both Android and iOS. It is 99 cent at present moment. There is no in-game purchases, no adverts. So once you bought the game, that is it. That is it. That is yours for the rest of your life. You don't got to worry about anything else. And I say I will give this a game a go. It's uh, definitely well worth trying out. I enjoy playing it myself, and it really does. As I said before suck into the game and make you care about these fictitious characters that you listen to on the other end of the phone and you actually also appreciate how the operators must feel when they take all these calls hundreds of times a day and they have to decide on a whim very often just what what calls are indeed important and what calls are basically a waste of time anyway that's all for now for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon for more videos, more live streams here on Twitch Gameplay. This is Brian, signing out. Bye bye, folks. Now, as a special bonus award, we have actually got some codes of this game to give away for both Android and iOS. For a chance to win one of these codes, do the following like this video, follow us on Twitter. Retweet the video on Twitter and like the video course on Twitter and then we will contact you if you've won um, the code for, one, the, for code for this game built on Android or iOS. So once again, like this video, 
follow us on Twitter, retweet the video on Twitter, like the video on Twitter, and then we will contact you if you need one. Best of luck, and once again, I'll see you guys soon.